Hey, Dan. Hey, Grant. How's it going? It's going great. I heard you were looking for a way to get the most out of your screens. And so I wanted to give you a quick tour of our digital signage tool so that you can start using it in your restaurant. Yeah, let's do it. So first thing is log into your business portal at biz.loop.tv. You should have already been set a password when you signed up. I've got it right here. Okay, cool. Let's start off with a quick tour of your signage tools. So over here, you have your custom logo. You've also got your signage library and your signage sets as well. So let's get into the custom logo really quick. If you have a PNG file, you can upload it here and it'll display it continuously on your screens to help promote your brand. And I actually got a logo for you. Cool. If you wanted to put a custom logo for each of your locations, for whatever reason, you can go into the players section up here and choose Dan's restaurant here. And then you can do a custom logo override and choose the one that works best for the specific location. So now it's important to understand how our signage tool is set up. We allow you to create specific signage items and then upload and attach these sets so that you can display them on your players. First of all, the million dollar question, do you have some signage sets that we can upload? I have had no time to do it. I don't have any right now. We get it, but that's not a problem, right? We've actually got a super simple signage creator and I'm just gonna go show you how to make a sign right now. So let's go to all sign items over here on the left. Click that, let's click use template up here in the right corner. So you'll see tons of options. A lot of them are based around upcoming holidays, Halloween and Thanksgiving are coming up. Let's actually just use one of my favorites, which is called new items. And let's click that right here. So once you're actually in the signage creator tool, you can alter the text, add images, change the background color, add some shapes. Maybe we're gonna say that this is Five dollars for the new item instead of one. Okay. What are some uh, What are some items that you've been selling at the restaurant recently that have been working really well? We've been doing a lot of Bloody Marys lately. Love that. New Bloody Marys. This background is fine. Maybe we should actually just add some images. So I can go over here onto the left and choose images. Select from. Unsplash, Pexels, Pixabay, Icon Finder. You can also just upload your own photos if you want. But let's go see what Unsplash has in terms of Blood Mary. Oh, oh wow, that's cool. Let's set this one as a background. That looks really good. So once you've uploaded it and placed it kind of where you want it to go, I think that looks really cool. Maybe we can get rid of this green. I might actually go in here and add a little bit of a stroke to the text itself just so that we'll be able to see it. Let's add some black there. There you go. Oh, hey, yeah, that was fast. It's not perfect, but it's already looking pretty good. Once you're ready and you've had some time to fiddle with it, click publish this design so that you can then go ahead and upload it to your digital signage tool. Let's click publish. You actually have the option to make video signage or a single image sign. And one thing that we do recommend our customers try is also making a sign out of a PNG file. If you do that and you leave a space in the image, the TV screen will actually resize around that space. So you can run a Bloody Mary signage set that has a little screen for the music video or the viral videos to play while you're promoting your drink special. Oh, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Now that you're here, you can see you can alter some of the aspects of the sign. You can call it the Bloody Marys. And then you can also decide when you want the sign to start running, both the day and the date and the time. So maybe this is like, you know, a happy hour special that you're just right, right. trying to push the Bloody Marys from, I don't know, from five to seven. So we can drop in here and choose from five to 7 p.m. You can also choose the days of the week that you want this to run if this is kind of a recurring signage set. But let's save that. Also up here, um, while you're creating the sign, you can actually add a text feed that will scroll across the screen as well. So what if we say, the new Bloody Marys are delicious. And then we can save that. And so the text ticker is something that you can use to add just a little bit more dimension to your sign. Oh, wow, okay. So now you've got all your sign items here. 
and we're ready to attach it to a set. So this is an important step of this. Also, just to remember that you have to attach the sign to a set to be able to run it. So I've got this new items set already created here. Let's attach the sign that we just created to this. So let's click attach sign. Go hit that Bloody Marys. Once you're done, click this X and then it's there. And then we don't need this because we've got our new cool one that we just made. Now that we've got this here, you've got some other things that you can change in terms of how the signage runs. You can decide how many videos you want the sign to run within. So you can choose over here. Oh, I want a new three. Maybe I want to do every 30. Maybe I want this to actually run continuously over the channel. And you can also choose to have it run in menu mode, which basically will have the sign run the entire time on the screen instead of having the channel. And then you can actually do the same thing with the text ticker, and you could also change the color of the text ticker itself. That's great. We've got plenty of other tutorials and ways to help you if you go to our YouTube channel or our support page. And we've also got a support team who's there to assist you pretty much with anything. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Green. Thank you, Dan, and we'll talk to you soon. Interested in learning more about Loop? Check out our YouTube channel for webinars, tutorials, and more information about Loop TV.